Ladies and gentlemen, what's good? It's your boy Ori. Today we're gonna have a, another reaction video. Today we're gonna be reacting to Mr. Gavin Samuels, 22 year old woman's guest of reality check on, I think I said IG Live. Interesting. We're gonna see what Mr. Kevin Samuels has to say to this little tender roundy. I, I don't wanna say tender roundy because I don't like to see her face, like her nose, you know what I mean? Can't really see her whole features to say, oh, you know what I mean? But from from look she looks right here, she she looks really little cute. But you see I'm more of a body. I'm on her body. I got this and I, I like titties. I mean, I like I love some titties. I love titties. But yeah, let's get into it. Like what you got? Um, I wanted to know what needs to be done to I guess attract a high value man, per se. Right. Um because I feel like that's where I want my life to be in the future, futuristic terms. But I'm willing to do what it takes to get one. Okay, you're in college? Um, I went to medical school. Did you graduate from oh. college? Yeah, I went to NYU. I did a um, certificate program and I'm a surgical technologist. Did you get a BA or BS? Um, no, it's like... Okay, it's so... A, all right, so you didn't graduate from college? No, but I got a certificate in the program that I did. Okay, so when you say you're going to medical school... Mm -hmm. I'm going back for, um, for nursing. All right, all right so... Um, why, why do you need a high value... Why do you... You're a high value... You're, this fucking... This flipping mosquito, eh? Keep pissing me off. I can bite you back. Keep... Ah oh, shit, I do all that still miss. God damn it. Or oh, you had one job. Kill the freaking mosquito. I can hear the vegans now in the comments. Don't kill the mosquito. He has a face. So I did. Um Cause like I feel like I've dated like the regular Bombs. The average guys and I feel like they don't hey, I can't the talk. Way I part of them too. What do you mean? Um, a lot of the guys that I've like dated in the past, they were, um, I would say like thuggish, kind of, in a way. Young lady, a high value man is not a get out of jail free card, it's not meant to. A high value man is a job, a hard job. The hardest job you'll ever have in your life is to be the wife of a high value man. It's not a life of luxury. It's not a who buy me a BMW and I just get up in the morning or you go off to work and I just sit in the house all day and watch TV. That ain't it. Mm -hmm. You're up, you up at 5 o'clock in the morning, going to the gym, working out, making sure that by the time you get back home, the kids are up. You got the kids' breakfast ready, kids right out, out, of, out of the door, your husband's stuff ready to make sure when he goes off, so he has to do to make sure that when everybody else leaves, that you get the house straight. Get the meals prepped, get everything done to make sure when the kids get back home, the homework gets done. To make sure when I come through the door that the meal is ready, the kids are ready to go, and all the money and shit that we're working to earn, you are doing all this other stuff. You get and by this, by the way, you gotta stay in shape and all this other stuff to make sure that I ain't doing nothing for the kids. You gotta get the kids all ready to go. Parent teacher comes, homework, everything else. I just look over from an from an executive position and say, great. Then you get the kids ready to go on stuff and so forth, blah, 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 and then you serve your husband. Wash, rinse, repeat the rest of your life. It's not a life of luxury. Do you believe that a, um, a independent, like, not an independent woman, but a woman that has stuff herself could keep a high value man? A man? Because I feel like sometimes. Nope. No? No? Nope. Nope. Yeah. I, I don't like want independent women. You, you young ladies think this is a, like a fantasy. Mm -mm. Not per se, but I know, like, when I. Like, I know I'm still young and stuff, and I have, like, a lot of stuff ahead of me, but, like, even dating guys, when I tell them, you know, um, that I'm a surgical technician for right now, and I still want to, like, do more stuff and go back to school. Where's your father? He, um, he's in the medical field. He's a surgical tech, too. So I kind of, like, you your mother and your father? Yeah. I was raised with both of them. Is your father helping you vet and sort through me? Um. No. No. You don't involve your father in your romantic life. I try to, but he's so like um, busy, like high dem. He's more high demanding than me, like exactly you know? because he knows what's out here. You need to listen to him instead of guys you don't know on Instagram. Okay. Ooh. Okay. You don't know me. I don't, but 
as he was like, Oh my gosh, this is the fucking show, bro. Hey, listen. Um, I have this friend, right? Him and his girl came over, right? And she left her can of soda on my counter. She went to use the bathroom and it was open. So she came back and started drinking it. So I'm looking at her. I was like, I think you should throw it away. So she's like, why? I was like, you don't know me. What do you mean? I said, I could put something in your drink. You don't know that you don't know me. I said, not that I'm that type of person, but I want you to build a practice of, once you leave something open, throw it away. With that being said, because you don't know me. You know what I mean? You, ladies, you got to protect yourself. I know, it's, I know I'm straying from the topic, but it, it's only said you don't know me. That's the first thing that clicked in my mind. Like, bro, like, ladies, not because you know of somebody means you know that person. Remember that. And niggas, I'm real cap. Me too. I'm freaking, I, I'm a wolf in sheep clothing. I promise you guys. I promise, I'll tell you this for now. Um, I'm not always, I never, I wasn't always happy, like how I'm smiling and giggling and fat, like how it is now. Like when I need to be, oh damn, what the hell is all I left? Damn. Anyway, when I need to be happy and giggly and funny, oh, you know, I can do that. But as shit gets serious, I can switch that bitch on. I can, I can switch, I can, I can, I can, I can switch it on momentarily. I stem up sometimes. Stem, stem, stutter, stutter. Anyway, you're not trying to say. I can switch it on momentarily. So it don't take nothing from me. So women, ladies, young ladies, be careful. There's some creeps out here who just, they ain't even trying to get the puss the right way, bro. They trying to take it from you. And I don't believe, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't go for that shit. I don't go for that shit. Niggas who take it, you weirdos. Nah, nah, you ain't even weird. You's a rapist, bro. It is what it is. You have a father. Listen to your father. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to hear that. Okay. You won't hear that. Do you not think he loves you? I mean, we have a complicated... Do you think he loves you? That's not what I asked you. I don't care if you like him. I said, do you think he loves you? Yeah. Did he, did he put a roof over your head? Yes. Move your stomach? Yes. Make sure you got out of high school, right? Yup. You got any babies? Nope. Good. You sound like you did a damn job. Respect it. That's all a nigga want. Stop worried about how bad your man go get a regular guy like your dad. Sound like that's what you need so I can do this job. Hey. Come on. Hey, 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 Mr. Kevin Samuels. Sometimes I don't agree with him. Sometimes I agree with him. In this moment, I agree with him. Like a lot of females get this, 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 this idea that um, a six-figure guy, excuse me, it's easy to maintain or we go on taking trips or they, so, bro, I believe social media, bro. Social media get everybody so effed up in the head, bro. You people, some, not you people, but some of you viewers really think this though. It's a life of luxury straight through. How the hell did the nigga get the money? He had to sacrifice to make the money. He has to go to work to make the money. You know what I mean? And you meet this man with money. You ain't like this nigga built from nothing with you, you meet this nigga with the money, bro. So that's even more difficult. You know what I mean? It's like, it, 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 it is amazing. And oh, I don't want a nice guy. Nice guy finish last, which is true. Nice guys do finish last, trust me. Nice guys finish last. It, it's scientifically proven you, you finish last, but ah, being nice as in, when I say being a nice guy, I mean as in, Oh, um, you want food? I'll bring you food. I want you, sorry, I'll take you back. Oh, that's okay. You can talk to me any type of way you feel like. You can raise your voice at me. You can hit me. You can, you can, you can abuse me physically and, 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 and verbally. Bro, nobody should put their hands on you. I'm not saying go there and come put on, but bro, let her know. Yo, I ain't with the bullshit. Don't put your hands on me. You did? Cause I, I I would call the police for you. Like I, I I'm not scared to call the police on a female. I'm not. I don't care. You can call the police. On, I call the police on. I call the police on my sister. Oh God, bro. I was like, bro, listen, remove her. Because I don't. Cause think about. Look, look, all right, look, all right. You can see me. 
Let me see what y'all can see. Y'all can see me? Imagine me falling my fist and punching a female. The fuck out cold. You know what I mean? That makes sense? So the best thing to do is just call the police. Get off. You know what I mean? So, so and females, do not put your hands on another man. Because everybody ain't nice like Ari who will kindly move away or back up or call the police and tell them to move you. Some of these niggas would knock you the fuck out. Cool. Silly. Not, not, I mean, hey, man. They'll knock you out. So please, sisters, you know what I mean? Don't do that. Don't, do that. Don't put your hands on nobody's children. Everybody, I'll, I'll, everybody keep their hands to this up. Everybody be happy then. But this is the end of the video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Oh God, that shit hurt. <laughs> I have to pause. <laughs> oh God, that shit hurt. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. If you guys are new to the channel, man, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below. We're on the road to 100,000 subscribers. With that being said, hope you guys have an awesome day. Be happy, be blessed. And remember, the world is yours. Peace. Hey, it's focus. Hey, Mariconia. All right. Hey, you can see me? Hey, hey. Alright, you can see me. Peace.